Welcome back to Under at the News. Today, my subject of the day is about the Montreal Canadian prospect or stock inside of the Montreal Canadian roster for the upcoming season 2024-2025. Are you serious, coach? Yes, it is. On the Sunday, July 7, 2024, the Montreal Canadian have already a ton of the players with a contract for the upcoming season. So what I'm going to do, guys, on this exercise, I'm going to give you a bit more deeper what it looked like, the lineup for the Montreal Canadiens, and what are the chance for Sven Montreal Canadiens prospect to make the roster for the next season. First of all, I believe they have only one player who can make it. It's Joshua Roy. We know Roy played a couple of games last year with the Montreal Canadiens, but unfortunately he got hurt at the end of the season, and he did not finish with the Montreal Canadiens. But I believe that what's going on on the roster for the Montreal Canadiens is only prospect could play with the Montreal Canadiens. Why? First of all, Montreal Canadiens have already 14 players in the lineup. That's including guys Joshua Roy with Alex Barry Boulet, following by RHP and Pesera. They all complete the 14 forward. All of them have a contract NHL with the Montreal Canadian. Now, the prospect could try to make the team, but I believe they have no chance, are Owen Beck, Emil Eneman, and Oliver Kapanen. Now, Kapanen, worst case, does not make the team. He returned uh, to play with his new team and the Sweden Hockey League. Not a problem for him. For any man, it would be another returning season with the Laval Rocket. And finally, Owen Beckett, he played his first year professional, but I feel like he has no chance at this moment to make the roster for the Montreal Canadiens. Here, the lineup of the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming season by line. Kafil, Zuski, Sakeski together. New Hook, Doc, Roy together. Third line, Gallagher, Devorek, Anderson, and that gave you guys RHP, Jake Evan, and Joel Amia. ABB and Pesada are the extra forward. This is a lineup of 14 forward for the Montreal Canadiens. Worst case, you can put ABB with the Laval Rocket. He had to go on the waiver of the NHL, but with his contract at 700 $50,000. I don't think anything is going to claim him. So for the Montreal Canadian, they can see with 13 forward, but still no room for any forward with the Montreal Canadian prospect like Beck, Enneman, Cabanon for the upcoming season. Now let's looking for the defensemen for the Montreal Canadian. They already have seven defensemen. Madison, Saval, Cooley, Aris, Jekai, Strobel, and Barron. All of them finished the season with the Montreal Canadiens with uh, Kovacevic. We know Kovacevic got straight uh, to the New Jersey Devils a couple of days ago. Jekai still negotiated his contract RFA, but once he's going to be complete that contract, that gives you seven defensemen with the Montreal Canadiens. Now, there are two players on the exam waiver, Jaden Strobel and Jekai. Both of them could returning with the Laval Rocket without going on the waiver list. This is a little bit better for Ken Hughes if he wants to make some change on his roster for the defenseman. And that gave guys four prospects for the Montreal Canadiens try to get a job with the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming season. Lennartson, David Rebacher, Mayu, Engstrom. Now, we know Rebacher came from Clodin last year, finished with the Laval Rocket with 11 game. Hudson played two games with the Montreal Canadiens with two points and Mayu one game. With one point, Engstrom start is professional hockey players with the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming season. If you look about what Montreal has already with 7D, the chance to add Hudson, Rebecca, Mayu, and Engstrom are a little bit limited. Still believe for me, Lane Hudson start the season with the Montreal Canadiens and Jadon Strobel is going to start with the Laval Rocket. This is my projection of the Montreal Canadiens uh, lineup for the, for the upcoming season for the defensemen. Now, I want to give you a little bit more what it looked like the roster for the Montreal Canadiens if they go that way. The option number one is 14 forward, seven defensemen, two goalies. If it's the case, uh, they have extra defensemen have to be returning to the Laval Rocket. If they go with the option number two, 13 forward, eight defensemen, and two goalies. Now, you're going to have, uh, example, ABB, 
go to the Laval market. That would be my prediction for the Montreal Canadiens if they go that way. So if you overview what I just did as an exercise for the upcoming season roster for the Montreal Canadiens, you can see not many spots for many uh, prospects for the Montreal Canadiens. I only consider Joshua Roy and Lane Hudson for the upcoming season. And like I mentioned to you, ABB and Strabble are going to start the season with the Laval Rocket. And finally, I want to finish with this. Every day, I do a poll question inside the channel at 10 o'clock Eastern Time PM. And today, I want to ask this question to you, and I would love to hear from you uh, below this video. How many points do you think a Montreal can get at the end of the season if they use the roster they have at this moment? Is it 70 points? 75, 80, 85, do you think they can make the playoff? Leave me a comment below this video. I can wait to read each one of you. And of course, this concludes my other video of the Ad Daily News. Hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget, please to click on the like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And remember, during the half summer of the hockey, we do a show about the Montreal Canadian every Sunday and Wednesday night with friend co-host with me. And we add more shows during the week, but we talk about more about the NHL overall or anything happening with the Montreal Canadiens during the history. Usually it's a Tuesday and Thursday nights. I can't wait to see each one of you. And don't forget, please, to share this channel to your friends to increase the number of the subscribers. Until the next time, you know, you have greatness inside of you and we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody.